we will see like what is the architecture of MSBI. Okay. So, by uh, when you go to the MSBI, just remember three areas. So it's very very important, and we are going to cover those three areas in this class. I mean, in this uh, uh, course. Okay. So those three areas. One of the areas is SSIS. Okay. This is called as SQL Server Integration Services. So what this SQL Server Integration does? Okay. SQL Server Integration is nothing but your data may be anywhere. Example, your data may be in SAP. Your data may be in Oracle. Your data may be in a flat file. Your data may be in a CSV file. Your data may be in Excel sheet. Your data may be in ERP system, CRM system. Your data may be in SharePoint. Your data may be in different kinds of uh, format. Right? So what SQL Server integration will do? It will do a process of ETL. Okay? It will do a process of ETL. Very, very important concept. ETL. Right? ETL is nothing but extract, transform, and load. You have a source of data. You extract the transform into your required format, into your required format and load into one database, load into a database. So your, in, in ETL, your source can be any variety or your target can be any variety. There is no specific reason that your source is this one and your target is no, nothing like that. Your source can be Oracle, your target can be DB2. Your source can be Microsoft SQL Server, your target can be flat file. It can be anything, so there is no restriction on that. Okay, so this is the main purpose of SQL Server integration services. So by the name, the name itself says that integration. So what do you mean by integration? Integration means that integrating the data from the different places and putting it into one place. That's it. So just remember that terminology, right? So these are the different data sources, and we put that into a data warehouse. So what is a data warehouse? Data warehouse is some. Is it different than the database? No. Data warehouse is not different than a database. Database. Data warehouse is a concept. Okay. But the physical storage of the data will be in the database itself. Okay. But the kind of format, the kind of table structures, the kind of linkage we have in the database will be different than the normal OLTP structure. Okay. So we will have the data in the form of in the, in the form where it can support online analytical processing. Very, very, very big word, buzzword in the market. If you know this OLAP, I'm sure that within one or two months you can get a job if you're looking for an opportunity in MSBA. It's very, very important concept in OLAP, uh, MSBA. Right? Very important, very critical, very few people in the market who knows the complete concept of OLAP. Okay? We'll see what is OLAP. Uh, how it is used and all those things in the later part of the section. But once this integration is done using a tool called SSIS, what we'll do is we will prepare a thing called cube. Okay, you might have heard about a cube uh, in your childhood. I mean, when you learn mathematics in the childhood, we learn we we always learn uh, one-dimensional, two-dimensional uh, things in the geometry, right? If you take a square, square is nothing but uh, it has a length and breadth, right? It's a, it's a, it's a, it has a side and side, right? So if you take a rectangle, it has a length and breadth, right? At the same time, when you go to the concept of cube, if cube is something like you have length, breadth, and width, three things, right? So you are, if you are talking about a rectangle, it's a two-dimensional thing. But when you are talking about a cube or cuboid, then it becomes a three-dimensional three thing. So something like x-axis, y-axis, and z-axis. If you can remember something from your geometry in the mathematics, but if you cannot, that's okay. We will learn what is cube. If you see this picture, right? If you see this picture, uh, this is something called, is, is looking like a cube, right? So this is a multidimensional structure. So if you see that cube from one angle, you cannot see the backside angle of the cube, right? So if you see the backside angle, you cannot see the front side angle. But the information is in the multidimensional. So it has a three axis, x axis, y axis, and z axis. But what are those axes? How it is used for us? And all those things is again a different concept. We will see. Okay, but to develop that concept of cube, 
we have something very important tool called analysis services which is short form called as SSIS very important SQL Server Analysis Services and then once you have the queue basically you have want something as a report right so to generate the reports in the Excel or in the SharePoint then you, you need some, some something to generate a report report is very very easy report is not something that you don't see anywhere right report is something you see everywhere example you pay LIC premium you get a uh, printout from the system right it's a report what it says it's a policy number your name your premium amount your sum assured and your date of payment all those things in a very neat manner you get your telecom bill you get your electricity bill you get your uh, water charges right you get your internet bill so everything is in the form of a report right but some of the reports can be kind of uh, very very list reports what we see in the electricity bill and all but some reports can be very very uh, attractive if you see ESPN and star, star sports when you're watching cricket they give beautiful graphs about a player, right? If you are watching a football game, they give beautiful graphs and uh, scorecards. How much was the country at the time of 35th over, and how this is country doing at this 35th over? How is the bar graphs and all those? So all those concepts come under reports. So we have a very good tool uh, called SSRS, which is part of the MSBA SQL Server Reporting Services. Okay. So these three uh, tools will be part of MSBA. So the, the only reason I spent some time in this slide is these are the very important concepts and this is something you are going to learn in this course. right? So remember three things, uh, SSIS, SSIS and SSRS. Okay? We will see the concepts of it, but this is the concept. Okay? You have the data in the different places. We use ETL as a, uh, SSIS as a ETL tool. We use SSIS as to build a queue and we generate reports out of it. Okay?